Let's jump into question one. You're concerned about your cell phone bill for this month and you can't remember how your plan actually works. You've been careful to keep track of how much data you used each month and the month this month you've used 160 megabytes. Using the payment information from your online banking, you compile the following. What is the independent variable and what is the dependent variable? So here, cost equations are easier in that cost is always going to be the dependent variable. And x is the independent. I like to say that y depends on x. Here, cost depends on data used. The more data you use, the more expensive it will be. To put this into a function, we have cost equals, we've got some sort of base rate. No matter what, we're not going to get away with using it for free. We're going to pay a certain base, plus we have some sort of price per megabyte times the amount of data use. So cost is going to depend on the data used. Part B, use a graph to determine the amount of your cell phone bill for this month. I've gone ahead and put a graph in here. Usually we use computers for these or graph paper works perfectly well. I'm going to put in my points. X is the megabytes used, Y is the cost. So we have our points. When we used 120 megabytes, we spent $40. Let's put that MB in there. When we used 80 megs, we ended up spending only $30. And when we had 200 megabytes, we used, ended up paying $60. So those are our three points. A line is determined by two points, so three is just extra. Drawing this, I've gone ahead and labeled all my axes and I've used units. And I know I don't have the neatest handwriting, but I try. So let's draw in these plans. Let's use red. So what we're going to do is put in those points. So 120, 40. 120 on the x-axis, 40 on the y-axis. 80, 30. That's going to be halfway here. Finally, we have 260. That is over here on this. And when I line those three points up, they look like a line. I'm going to use a ruler to try to get this perfect. And again, when you're freehanding it, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. But it's a nice thing we can do. There's our line. So looking at that question, what do you think our, the amount of our cell phone bill is this month? Remember, this month, we used 160 megabytes. So what we're going to do is look over here, and I think this month, right around there, I'm going to assume it's around $50. Looking at a graph isn't precise, but often it's good enough for whatever we are trying to do.